Oil-filled run capacitors are an important component the technician carries on their truck. These particular capacitors are specifically Titan Pro oil-filled capacitors. So we can see there are a variety of them. And when we look at run capacitors, there's information on those run capacitors that help us to get the proper capacitor combined with that motor. So when we look at these, first of all, you might see on the Titan Pro that the boxes look a little bit different. And the coloring of the boxes helps us to distinguish part of the characteristics of the capacitor. And more specifically, it helps us to identify the voltage rating on these run capacitors. Now let's look at the capacitor in a little more detail. We can see that some of these capacitors only have two terminals coming out of the capacitor. Some of them have three terminals coming out of the capacitor. This would be considered a dual rated capacitor. This is rated a single. So when we look at the capacitor, there's certain information on here that helps us to identify the characteristics of it. This capacitor, when combined with the motor, makes the motor more efficient and it provides more starting torque for that motor. And the motor identifies what characteristics are required for the motor to operate at its highest efficiency. And the characteristics it talks about are the microfarad rating and the voltage. Those are key characteristics that have to be matched with that motor. Now these are typically used with PSC motors, permanent split capacitor motors. Every once in a while I'll be at the counter of a wholesaler and I'll cringe. A technician comes in and he's carrying a capacitor and he wants that same capacitor. Now it's possible that the wholesaler has that same capacitor in inventory, but a lot of times the technician may go over to a shelf and can't find the capacitor that he came in with and just pick up one that looks like it's close. A couple things that concern me. First of all, if you select the capacitor based upon the capacitor that you took off of that motor, we're assuming that that was the correct capacitor on the motor. I personally like to make sure that I'm getting the right capacitor by looking at the nameplate of the motor and verifying the microfarad rating and the voltage rating that that motor calls for. Now when you go to the counter and they don't have the right one or if you're looking in the inventory on the shelves and there's not the right one and you select a capacitor that maybe doesn't exactly match what the motor calls for, you're going to impact the performance of the motor. So always, always, always make sure that the microfarad rating that the motor calls for is the microfarad rating on the capacitor that you are going to install on that motor. Because if it's not the correct microfarad rating, the motor may run. And in fact, the motor even may have lower amps than what the nameplate says. But you will change the efficiency of the motor. And when you change the efficiency of the motor, you put more heat in the winding of the motor. And when you put more heat in the winding of the motor, you shorten the life of that motor. Now let's look on a dual. We can see that the microfarad rating is called 35 plus 5. On a single, on this one, it just says 5 microfarad. This has one value, 5 microfarad. This one has two values, depending upon how we connect it. The higher value would be connected from 
C for common to hermetic. In this case, that would give me 35 microfarads. If I connect it from common to fan, that would give me 5 microfarad. This 5 microfarad is the same as this 5 microfarad in the single. But now I put those together into one can and it makes it a lot more efficient in connecting this. And I only have one device that I have to attach. Now we can tell the microfarad rating on that. I can check that to see if it is correct. I can check to see if my old capacitor is bad by measuring, first of all, from the common to the hermetic. And in this case, it measures 35.3. Perfect. If I measure from common to fan with this set on microfarads, I get 5.0. Again, just what I need. So that gives me an idea of whether my capacitor is achieving the actual performance that the nameplate says it is supposed to provide. If it's bad, it would be off of that. So we have the microfarad rating and always select the capacitor with the correct microfarad rating. On this Titan Pro, there's a number after those microfarad ratings. That number is a manufacturing tolerance. And the manufacturing tolerance in this case is plus or minus 5%. That means that when the manufacturer makes this cap capacitor, they guarantee that it will be no higher than 5% above its microfarad rating and no lower than 5% below its microfarad rating. There are some capacitors that are plus or minus 6%. Some capacitors that are plus or minus 10%. The Titan Pro are all plus or minus 5%. That means that they're guaranteed to be closer than a capacitor that is identified as plus or minus 6 or plus or minus 10. Now, in addition to the microfarad rating, there is a voltage rating. On this particular capacitor, it's rated 440 slash 370, as is the single. But some capacitors may only be 370 volts. Well, what does that mean? 440 slash 370. It means that this capacitor is a 440 volt capacitor. On capacitors, you can always put a capacitor that has a higher rated voltage than what the motor nameplate calls for when it identifies the capacitance. So if the motor calls for a four, uh, excuse me, a 370 volt, you can put a 440 volt on there, or a 660 or a 770. You can always go up in voltage, but never go down. So on this particular capacitor, where it says 440 slash 370, I can use it on any voltage up to 440. And that voltage, we were to look at the motor, that voltage is probably going to differ from what the applied voltage to the motor is. Because that voltage that we're referring to, those capacitor volts, they're a generated voltage. And that generated voltage can exceed the applied voltage. Now, this particular capacitor is rated to 70 degrees C. Now, what does that mean? It means that the case temperature of this capacitor, when it's installed and operating, if the case temperature does not exceed 70 degrees C, 70 degrees Celsius, that's 158 degrees Fahrenheit, this particular capacitor will last 60,000 hours. If the temperature goes up, it'll shorten the life. If the case temperature exceeds that 70 degree, it'll shorten the life. If the case temperature is reduced, it extends the life of the capacitor. So there's a relationship. But all of the Titan Pro are rated 60,000 hours.
So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into capacitors. Always make sure that you're using the correct microfarad, but you can go up in voltage. Thank you.